I'm Steve Davis, Editor-in-Chief of the Southern Boating Magazine, and welcome to Southern Boating TV. With us today is Federico Ferrante, who's president of Azimuth Benetti North America. Welcome, Federico. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Glad you were able to join us. Uh, I know we have a lot to talk about, uh, about Azimuth and Benetti, Azimuth Benetti. Is it Azimuth Benetti is one company or are they separate? No, that is correct. It's, it's actually one company. It's called the Azimuth Benetti Group. And uh, yeah, we have uh, uh, different divisions, but as far as uh, yacht, uh, yacht manufacturing, we have two brands. One is Azimuth Yachts and the other one is Benetti Yachts. All right, perfect. So Southern Boating is celebrating its 50th year this year in 2022, and Azimuth celebrated 50 years in 2019, I believe. So why don't we start with letting our viewers know a little about how the company started and its move into boat building because didn't, um, wasn't sailing part of the original uh, group when it first started to get together? Well, uh, Steve, it's funny, it's, it's funny you say that because uh, first of all, I think is, uh, is definitely a remarkable and interesting story for anybody, uh, any enthusiast of the marine industry in general, but yes, you're 100% right. So. Uh, without being too long, because again, we are at 53 years of history right now, so it might take a while to, to summarize. <laughs> but everything started in, uh, in 1969, where uh, when, when Paolo Vitelli, which is uh, as of today, still the, the, the owner of the Azimo Benedict Group, based uh, purely on, on passion, uh, decided to migrate from Torino, which is uh, a city in the northwest of Italy, very, very close to the Alps. To give a reference point to our audience, that's where the Winter Olympics were hosted a few years ago in Italy. So there is no body of water next to Torino at all. And, and, and that also somehow get to my story as well. I'm from Milan, which is the same. There is no water there. But Paolo, going back to Paolo Vitelli, so purely based on passion, passion his family owned uh, a, a garment business. So again, nothing to do with boats and, and water. Uh, he decided as a, as a young man, uh, recently graduated to take this venture and follow his passion for, for the water, for boats and navigation. And he decided to buy few Aloha, which were sailing boats, a small 32, 33 feet sailboats. He bought a bunch of those and started uh, basically a bare boat charter business in the, wow. in the port of Savona, which uh, okay. in uh, direct line is the cl closest body of water to Torino. There is a highway which from Torino connects to Savona. And that's where the people from Torino go in the summer, in that area, in that area of the Riviera. Everything started really with few sailboats. <laughs> rented as bare boat. And then uh, after that, he understood that uh, his passion uh, was instead of design, engineering, and construction and production. And uh, he migrated towards uh, the, the power boats. And okay. he started uh, you know, navigating himself uh, in the industry of those days and uh, meeting the first uh, designers, uh, both of hull and water lines, as well as uh, uh, design of the exterior and interior lines. And then everything progressed. Uh, I have to say without, uh, uh, I mean, I work, I work for Paolo 21 years now and in, in, all, uh, in all transparency and full honesty, I have to say that not only, the, 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 of course, uh, he's a remarkable individual uh, and because of his passion and his vision on the product, but the extremely important has always been also his, uh, his uh, financial uh, management capacity. So is uh, combined, uh, there has been in the history of, uh, of our industry, many, many uh, shipyards, which unfortunately had uh, perhaps a great vision in terms of product, but maybe they were lacking that uh, entrepreneurial management and financial side. Mm -hmm. And they, they ended up maybe not in a successful path. So Paolo was really a mix a perfect cocktail of, of passion, knowledge, vision, but also entrepreneurial and management capacity. And so everything then progressed and uh, little by little, uh, yeah, we became uh, still today uh, for 22 years in a row, uh, the largest yacht manufacturer in the world. From so how, did, 
How from a he... bunch of, uh, if you think about, from a bunch of uh, little thirty feet, <laughs> Aloha <laughs> sailboats. So uh, how did he get into actually designing and building these boats? Well, pure passion. He, he saw the vision. He always understood uh, what the market was looking for. Uh, as a consumer himself, I mean right. that once you have uh, the passion of the product that you decide to make your living, it it, it comes almost natural to, to understand what the consumer expect wants and what is missing because you are a consumer of your own product. So, well, no, it's, um, and it's interesting how through really hard work and passion from, from 1969 to the mid 80s, uh, it, it is actually Azimut the Arts, which uh, ended up uh, buying uh, the Benetti brand from, from the Benetti family, uh, despite Benetti was founded in, in 1873. Uh, but the story goes that uh, we became the Asimov Benetti Group right. uh, with the purchase of, from Asimov the Arts of the Benetti of the Benetti brand. And that also, uh, you know, uh, created uh, innovation from from Paolo Vitelli in the industry because uh, his vision uh, already established with the Asimov the Arts brand, then migrated fully into the Benetti Arts uh, brand, and uh, where. Uh, you know, the, the most iconic um, Benetti models start being created and up to the classic, the vision, the oasis, which is here uh, behind me. So that's, the rest is all, is all history. Right. Yeah, I know. So that uh, was, was very emotional uh, 2019 for us, uh, which, is, uh, which was our 50th. And I'm sure it's the same. It's, uh, I fully <laughs> understand your feeling in, yeah. in this 2022. Uh, because yeah, we've been, 50, we've been celebrating all year. <laughs> <laughs> you well deserved, and so did we. Uh, because uh, it's not easy. You realize once you get there and you look back and what you have done and uh, what it took and the amount of energy and effort uh, is not easy to to yeah. stay to stay there to begin with, and uh, a little bit even more difficult to to actually stay on top. Mm -hmm.